Art bleeds the color of hard streets to the beautiful portrait of peace. But me, I prefer my words free. We let art shoot white lightning up our spines, and we reassure ourselves with the grass and the wind. Tie up my feet, close my mouth. I can write it, and you will read it. Authoring Action develops teen authors. We develop their voices through creative writing, and then we develop what they've written, and we develop them to be able to present what they've written. And we do this because we feel that it's important for young people in our community to have a voice. It has some holes that need to be patched. See how you can take everything up top, and what is your statement about art? Okay? I love my job as artistic director because I'm the person who's supposed to unleash their voices. We're not out to just do poetry. We're out for people to leave with a mandate to do something. Art must do something. Lynn came to me and she said that she had a group of kids that wanted to do this big project. And I was all about it because this is gonna be on the outside of the restaurant, which is really exciting because it will be facing Trade Street. As people come up, that's gonna be one of the first things they see on the side of the building. The Arts Council's uh, panel, when it got this proposal from Authoring Action, was very happy because it's a collaboration between a great young entrepreneurial arts group, Authoring Action, and a great local artist, Jan Detter, and not only is it a collaboration between them, but it involves a local business downtown. And so this word wall just adds another element to the whole mosaic and complexity of the arts district. Artists have to be constantly thinking about how to reframe ideas and how to reframe materials. Because artists work with the material world. We make things out of things other people throw away. A piece of art for each word will create a tile and she'll actually install that. It'll look like a quilt and there'll be a border around it with all of the people who are supporting the project. A public art piece that's bringing kids together from all over the city from different socioeconomic backgrounds and, and, and having a physical presence I think says a lot about Winston-Salem. This project is different because it provides a visual representation of what the youth want to see in our community. Um, this manifesto is going to be their words uh, semi-permanently displayed uh, in a prominent place in the Arts District of downtown Winston-Salem, a constant reminder of what they hope to see in the mm -hmm. future. This is from the youth's perspective and they're telling it on their own and they're doing it in this way that can stick with us and what a great opportunity it would be to capture these stories with the word wall and maybe in a few years follow up with some of these youth and see where they are and see how they feel about this and being a part of Winston-Salem through this art. In 10 years from now when you come down to the Arts District and it's a bustling thing that draws people in from all over the region you can say hey I, I participated I, I helped make this happen.